So the instrument which is used to calculate the atmospheric pressure is the barometer and to calculate the gas pressure is the manometer. Now we'll get to see what actually this apparatus is. So when we are talking about the barometer, the barometer just consists of one trough like this which is filled of mercury. It has an inverted tube which is just kept like this. So how it works? It works when the atmosphere, atmosphere exert, atmospheric gases exert pressure on it, they make the liquid, this mercury level rise in this tube and the level till which the mercury level rise indicates the atmospheric pressure. So this is how the barometer works. So I think it is clear how uh, it is a trough of mercury which consists of an uh, inverted tube which is just inverted on that trough and what happens when the atmospheric gases exert pressure they will they make the uh, this thing the mercury uh, move up in this tube and the level up to which the mercury moves indicate the atmospheric pressure so this is how the barometer works now coming to the manometer that how we use the manometer to calculate the gas pressure so you will be knowing that there are two kinds of manometer actually. One is open limb manometer and the other is closed limb manometer. So in both the cases, the manometer is actually a U-shaped tube like this. It is actually a U-shaped tube that is the one limb being smaller and the other limb being uh, longer. Then there is a system which contains the gas in which whose pressure is to be calculated it is just rounded by the cork so that the gas remain trapped right and when we are talking about the closed limb so again there is a same kind that there is a system which consists of uh, the gas and there it is a, a um, u-shaped tube one limb being smaller and the other being limb longer now i'm taking an example of closed limb so i have just closed this limb and in case of open limb i have left this open right so the question comes in mind where this open limb manometer is to be used and where this closed limb manometer is to be used so you have to keep in mind that open limb manometer is used for the gases whose pressure that or you can say the gases which exert pressure more than atmospheric pressure means whose pressure is actually greater than the atmospheric pressure and the closed limb manometer is used for that for those gases which exert pressure less than atmospheric pressure that means for this case the atmospheric pressure is more than the gas pressure you can write the atmospheric pressure the way i have written here okay write this p and atm at bottom so the open limb manometer consists of uh, this u-shaped tube you already know now and it consists it is used to calculate the pressure of gas whose uh, which uh, whose pressure is actually greater than the atmospheric pressure and it is closed limb is used for that gas whose pressure is actually less than the atmospheric pressure now what happens the, it is filled with the mercury it is already filled with the mercury like this so how initially the both uh, mercury level are equal now see how it works when i'm talking of, of the open limb manometer then the atmosphere will exert pressure here right what will happen it will make the mercury level go down in this limb so if i say that it goes down till this level earlier it was at this level now it got due to this pressure it moved down and Similarly, it was here initially, suppose if I write this is at P1 and this is at, this is I am taking into, right, I will do like this again, we will do it again, see. It is P1, uh, initially pressure was this and initially the level of mercury was this. I will indicate by A and B, I think it will be more convenient. So initially the level was A and B, right, that in longer limb the mercury was at A point and in this, no, the other limb it was at B point. Now when we are putting up the mercury then what happens that the, this, uh, the mercury in the li uh, longer limb goes down, it comes to B position and this it comes to this position. So that means I am rubbing this the previous ones, 
so that means this is the now the level and this is this level now the difference in this level indicates the gas pressure i think you've got it i'll repeat again see again the initially the level of the mercury in both the limbs are same right then what is happening atmosphere is exerting the pressure so it is pu just pushing the liquid that is the mercury down in the one limb so mercury level falls down in the longer limb and it rises up in the shorter limb so that means there is a difference in level so that means one level which is rise which has raised it has come to this level and the other level which has fallen fallen is at this level and the difference between this level indicate the gas pressure so this is how you use the open limb manometer similarly we do it for the closed limb the, just the difference lies that here only the gas will exert pressure there is no external gas atmosphere which is exerting the pressure so again initially both the limbs in both the limbs mercury level is same then what is happening the gas is exerting the pressure because here the atmospheric pressure is exerting and it is just moving like this here what is happening there is no outside external source so just gas is exerting the pressure so what is happening that i'll use a red marker for it to make you clear so what is happening in this that uh, it is just pushing the mercury so if i say that mercury comes to this level and in this limb mercury goes to this level so the difference between these levels indicate the pressure of the gas so this is how we come to know that what kind what the magnitude of pressure that a gas can exert and uh, moreover the, i'm just i just want that you should be familiar with the units as well that which is used for the calculating the atmospheric pressure so as i've told you atmospheric pressure is the atmosphere at sea uh, at most uh, the pressure which an atmospheric gases are exerting at the sea level which is calculated to be 76 cm at 0 degree celsius right and we also know the barometer and how it is working the unit which is used to denote the atmospheric pressure which is a constant quantity at stp condition is found to be 760 cm or you can say uh, one the si unit is one atmosphere that comes out to be 76 equal to a 76 cm or 76 760 mm of mercury or we can write as 760 tor these are the different units which are being used we have few more units One atmosphere is also equal to one point zero one three two five bar, or we can say right one atmosphere is also equal to one zero one three two five pascal. So the relation that pascal and bar has is that one bar is equal to ten raised to power five pascal. So these are the different kinds of SI units which can be used. So that means the atmospheric pressure is generally expressed in atmosphere. The standard condition of temperature is one atmosphere, which is which can be written as seventy six centimeter of mercury, or can be written as seven sixty mm of mercury, or seven sixty tor. And one atmosphere is further equal to one point zero one three two five bar also. So bar can also be used in unit to express the pressure. And one atmosphere is also equal to one zero one three two five pascal. So pascal is another unit which can be used i am telling you the relation so that you can interrelate the units because the for interrelating or converting the units you need to know the value that like i have told you that one bar is equal to 10 to the 5 pascal so you should know that how how can you convert it by dividing or multiplying just applying the mathematical equation and getting them converted right so this is how we do in this case 